Hello my beautiful friend. Today I am full of energy and I want to share with you a beautiful snowy day. So we are going to clean and make a delicious crock pot meal. And I also have to take most of my Christmas decoration because I know it's, it's literally time. Christmas has been over two weeks. So let's do it. We had a huge storm here in Michigan and my husband is usually the one who restocks us with our wood pile but he's been working so much and this was one of the first chores that I needed to get done for today. We heat our home during the day with our wood burning stove and once it turns around 7 or 8 p.m. that's when we turn our home heater. This is our second winter here in this house and for some reason I always look forward to the coziness of a fire in the winter. The very next thing to do is to defrost some meat and we have a lot of meat in our deep freezer because we bought a cow and I'm trying to get creative with cooking meals that involve chicken and beef so today I'm going to do a crock pot meal the recipe calls for chicken but since I have a lot of roast I'm going to do it with beef roast and I don't know about you but I always feel like I have my life together when dinner is already prepared or preparing in a crock pot first thing in the morning One of the things that I do not look forward every Sunday is going through Pinterest or old cookbooks and figuring out what we're going to have for dinner every single day out of the next upcoming week. So I recently found a kind of like a deck of cards, but it's in a box and it has so many recipes for a whole 12 weeks and it only involves five ingredients or less. You obviously have to have some staples like oil and salt and pepper and things like that in your pantry. But other than that, it's only five ingredients and, but like where has this been all my life? Next on the docket was washing my clothes. We all have a day specifically for washing our own clothes and today was my day. I also washed my bedding. So I've been really into planners this year and one of my planners has like a cleaning schedule and it just keeps me on track and I absolutely love it. There's nothing like crossing things off a list and it specifically tells me what I need to do or clean or keep up each day. It has helped so much in my homekeeping, homemaking tasks. I just work more efficiently and I'm more organized and I feel so accomplished too. So it has like a daily AM and PM lists. This is what I have to do like for an opening shift and a closing shift. I love that. And let's say here on Thursday, these are the tasks each day, like doing Cooper's laundry, changing the cat litter, taking the trash out and mopping the floors. And it might seem like a lot, but I delegate with my daughters, even my husband pitches in and my house has never ran this smoothly. I started baking sourdough bread in February, so it's almost my one year anniversary. And I figured out how to store my bread now. It's funny, it has taken me a year, but I just literally wrap it in saran wrap and then a really pretty tea towel. These are my morning chores, like I said, and I keep it here just so that the girls can pitch in. And I found this at Target dollar section. When I started washing the dishes, I did not notice, but this bowl had like a sliver, a chunk 
missing and it cut my hand. And I wasn't gonna stop and go look for a band-aid somewhere in the house. If you have a toddler, you know that they use band-aids, that's stickers, so I probably don't even have one. So I just used a paper towel and put a glove on and keep on rocking on with the dishwashing. I have a little bit left of this candy cane Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner spray so that's what I'm using right now before I refill my DIY cleaners and it just smells so good It was definitely time to take down the last of my Christmas decorations down and I also want to declutter most of my Christmas mugs. They're not bringing me that, you know, Kamari joy anymore. And if you remember or if you're new here, I have a video where I decluttered a lot of the fall and Halloween mugs and I think it's time for the Christmas ones also to go. Um, I am striving to clean a little bit less and not for everything to look so cluttered and I'm far from a minimalist but I do understand that if you have less stuff you spend less time cleaning so I think that's something that I want to strive for in this new year. After taking the Christmas mugs down, everything looked so bare, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the Valentine's Day ones out and put the Christmas ones in. It's winter here, so everything is so white, and I wanted to add some blushy pink color into my coffee station. I also grabbed a Christmas tote so that I could store the other Christmas decor in, and Cooper was with me the whole day, so this task took me a long time. I gave him some of the soapy water to play with and he decided that he was going to help me clean my chairs. So yeah, I cannot literally not watch him for a minute because he will get in trouble. But I'm glad that he kept himself entertained while I was doing some work. I don't really decorate that much for Valentine's Day, but now that it's clean, I remember that I also bought this fabric Valentine's Day table runner, and it is super cute. It has little tiny hearts, and it just makes me happy. And I also added a Valentine's Day candle that I already owned, and also a dried peony from my garden. I dried it this last summer, and it just looks so cute. It was already nighttime, so dinner time. I want to show you how the meat turned out. I shredded it and we ate it as tacos. I made some fresh salsa and then cheese and some lettuce. And let me show you how it looks outside. It was still snowing. It's so cold, but so beautiful in my own opinion. I love it so much. Let me tell you, I am so 
so freaking proud of myself since doing this cleaning schedule. I just feel so productive and I love knowing what's coming up for the next day. And today the last task that I needed to do was just mop the floors. I have been a housewife slash stay-at-home mom for around 16 years now. And my cleaning has evolved all through these years, thankfully. Side note, how cute are those kitty slippers for mopping? I didn't really follow like a specific cleaning schedule before i would just clean what i saw needed to be clean each day but then a lot of things just fall through the cracks even though it seems like there's a lot of tasks to do every day i can get them done literally within an hour because when you are cleaning every day it's just maintenance it's not like a deep deep clean so if you're feeling overwhelmed with your household chores i'll have a link down below for the planner that i'm using or just go to pinterest and grab a cleaning schedule that resonates more with your cleaning style another thing that i have to do every week is clean my fridge before i go grocery shopping that way i can take inventory of what i already have and i don't have to buy doubles and also throw away things that are expired so this is a task or chore that is part of my weekly reset This is how my fridge looked after being cleaned and before going grocery shopping. I love being relatively far away from society, but at the same time, like I miss those days that I used to live near a Kroger or Meyer or like a grocery store. It takes me around 25 minutes to drive to a big grocery store and we do have like a very small supermarket but things are a little bit overpriced and you don't get a lot of variety but anyways there's pros and cons to everything right let me show you what i got from the grocery store i'm going to start with the produce some cilantro because our local grocery store does not carry cilantro so i have to drive for this and then two granny smith apples these are going to be for juices and then these for snacking with peanut butter i think these are honey crisp apples one onion for dinners and this is going to be also for dinners as a side and then this will be for little cooper as a little treat and then I grabbed some poppy this one is the raspberry rose I have not tried this one I am starting to wean a little bit off of coffee so I want to get like more matcha lattes so I grabbed an almond milk and then this is my favorite sparkling water the spindrift it's just literally sparkling water and some juice and then over here we have some thyme because i'm going to make a roasted chicken and then another recipe called for rosemary i can use this for my diy cleaners and then for lasagna roll-ups i'm going to just pair it with a caesar salad and then jalapenos are going to be for some jalapeno popper chicken it's a recipe that i'm going to try this week um the cucumber and the spinach is for the green juices and then i am also going to be making a cheddar broccoli soup this is because cooper has been eating a lot of pancakes even though i like to make homemade pancakes with one banana two eggs and some flour made out of oats so that's like a lot of a lot healthier than this but this is for when i'm running out of time for something quick this is for the lasagna roll-ups for a little protein snack box that i wanted to make we needed some butter and for the jalapeno popper chicken the chicken for the recipes and i love the center cut bacon 
This is for the snack boxes, the prosciutto. It had a little bit more protein than salami. And then also some hummus. And pastured, raised, organic um, eggs. Normally we get this from a farm here. And the lady delivers them all the way uh, to my front door. But I guess her chickens are not really laying. And then over here in the dairy section, we have some Greek yogurt, mozzarella, and then a quart of half a gallon of milk, some some sour cream, and Greek seasoning. I've never actually, I didn't even know this existed. And then if I go all the way over here, we have some berries for breakfasts, and then bananas, and then these bananas are going to be for banana muffins. I needed them to be like a lot more ripe mahi mahi for the re for a greek dinner recipe and then chicken nuggets for cooper this is for the lasagna roll-ups and this is going to be as a side so that's that sometimes when again and if the budget permits i love to buy some fresh flowers and this time i grabbed some greenery i think it looks as beautiful as flowers these are baby's breath and eucalyptus and it just makes the house feel more homey and now let's restock some things from our grocery trip Let's prep some meals and sides for the week. That's one thing that I'm really and seriously trying to get into the habit of meal prepping. It's just so much easier for me to have things ready to go in the morning or when I'm cooking dinner, just like the sides, the veggies cut up. It just makes everything run so smoothly and as a mother of a toddler, um, I have to reiterate, like he just drains all my energy and time so that's why i'm also including him in the meal prepping process because he loves to help and it's just easier for me also to just have him occupied while i do something like this and i love to create little memories with my little boy my eggs were a little bit too cold that's why the butter kind of separated but i will be having all of the recipes down in the description box below if you want to try them these muffins turned out super moist and delicious Besides my cleaning schedule and the meal cards, I feel like I'm winning my week once my sides for my dinners are prepared. So we're gonna start prepping our veggies and sides. So first things first, I disinfect my sink, scrub it really well, and then pour some boiling water. And then I also add some cold water with vinegar and some baking soda, and I drench or like drown my veggies in there for around 15 to 20 minutes. I also like to keep my berries in its original container and of course Cooper loves this process so he loves to help me my little boy and we just started getting everything out once the 20 minutes have passed and I love this little salad spinner for like the berries and small things like this. We also started making green juices because we have been under the weather for a long time. Thankfully, me and Cooper are all recuperated, but my girls have a slight cough. So I just add a lot of ginger and like hydrating veggies into it. And to make it a little bit sweet, I add one green apple. So these green juices are so refreshing and good for you in the morning.
Broccoli is one veggie that the whole family will eat, broccoli and green beans, so I keep those two in rotation. Having cut fruit in your fridge will save you from having to feed your kids gummies and a lot of sugary snacks even though there's nothing wrong with that but I love also to use the fresh fruit for breakfast sides and as a little dessert you can like I don't know have them with some tahine or when I was a kid I used to drizzle them with sweet condensed milk This is how the fridge looks restocked and organized, cleaned and colorful. I love it. Now my whole family and myself have meals prepped for the week and I can be more productive, focused and spending quality time with my girls and my little boy. So let me go through everything that we have all the way at top. I have the green juices and the banana muffins. I keep them on the fridge because they last a little bit longer. I also have my cilantro in a cup with water. Lasts forever that way. Yogurt and cottage cheese for extra protein. We love kimchi for the probiotics. I love those peaches from Costco. My sourdough starter, pure tart cherry juice for sleeping and some drinks. On the next shelf down, we have the prepared fruits and veggies and also wheatgrass. I use that for the green juice. And then the next one down there, we have greens. I love the arugula for my avocado toasts. The spinach is for the green juice and I made a delicious carrot salad. It's supposed to help with women's hormones and then the eggs. And then on these drawers, I have cheeses and cold meats. And on the last two, I have the extra vegetables. Thank you so much if you're still here and you took the time to watch this video. I really appreciate you and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I will be having more content like this, cleaning, organizing, productive days in homekeeping and homemaking. I will see you on my next video. Bye.